Per Jonsson, the world champion in white, and his partner Con Everson is in yellow and black. At the moment in time, it's 10 points to Australia and 8 to Sweden. Let's just see if the world champion can do something about that. 5 1 in heat number 3, Craig Boyce and Stephen Davies over Henrik Gustafsson and Eric Stenland. And they're now into the start for heat number 4. Jonsson looking at the concentration as the tapes rise and who's going to be the first one to show? Jonsson and looks across to see his partners there. Jonsson and his partners with him and Crump cuts underneath them. My word is a very, very hectic first and second turn. But Jonsson and Connie Everson are together, which is good news for Sweden at the moment with one lap gone. Jonsson on the inside. He loves to dictate the race, holding that position. But just look at Crump. Crump comes up to put pressure on Jonsson. Connie Everson has got his nose in front, but just look at Phil Crump, the veteran of Australian Speedway, overtakes Jonsson. Now coming up to put pressure on Connie Everson in yellow and black. A great scrap in heat number four, and now Crump comes through. The crowd here in the exhibition centre, 7,500 packed in this ground, are going absolutely crazy. As Phil Crump comes from third to first, as Jonsson tried desperately to hold his partner to team ride in the first and second position, but Phil Crump was having none of it. Phil Crump with the number three on his back, takes the checker flag and gets the three points. Two to Connie Everson and one to Pierre Jonsson. And my word, what a brave and tenacious drive from Crump. Let's take another look in slow motion at the drive past Connie Everson. <laughs> it's done a lot between them, is there? But it's Phil Crump, the veteran of World Speedway, and especially from down under, who gets the three points. So that means a drawn heat, three points apiece. It's Australia 13 and Sweden 11. The result of heat number four. There we go into heat number nine.